Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to be talking about reason number three, you may be suffering from migraine headaches. It's such a very common complaint. They've, uh, a recent study that I read uh, that they, they did a, a study on 11,000 migraine headache sufferers and uh, with CT scans and only like uh, I think one showed a positive CT scan or an organic lesion in the brain that was causing the headaches. Almost all migraine headaches are due to functional neurological problems. There are certain neurons in your brain, especially in the midbrain, or also known as the mesencephalon, that are unhealthy, they are unstable, and this causes vasodilation and other things to happen in the brain that's gonna create in pain. What we're interested in from a functional medicine and a functional neurological point of view is why why we don't care what you have we want to know why you have it which differs very greatly from traditional medicine folks you're not going to be able to medicate yourself out of a migraine headache it may give you temporary relief temporary relief but it's not going to get to the underlying causes if you're going to conquer migraine headaches you need to get to the underlying causes we're talking about one of these today and that is nutritional deficiencies folks there's an area in, our, in, our, in all of our cells in our body, except for our red blood cells, called the mitochondria. These, the mitochondria are known, if you remember your high school biology, they are the powerhouses in our cells. They produce energy, and your neurons in your brain require more energy than any other cells in your entire body by far. Our brain consumes 30% of our energy need, and it only weighs 2% of our body weight. So from a functional neurological point of view, we are very concerned on whether your mitochondria are working properly or not. So low energy to the, to the neurons mean unstable neurons. And when you get unstable neurons in a particular part of the brain, which we talked about, the midbrain or the mesencephalon, our fight or flight or stress area of our brain, you're going to get vasodilation. Blood vessels are going to expand and you're going to have a vascular headache. Those are called migraines. You're also going to develop at some point in time pain sensitization. That means your perception of pain in the brain is off and that can cause chronic pain conditions and this is what happens in fibromyalgia which is why fibromyalgia and migraine headaches often are, are connected. So now what would cause the mitochondria to dysfunction? Well the mitochondria require lots of enzymes and B vitamins and magnesium and different things that we absorb into our, from our diet and things like CoQ10 and riboflavin and magnesium Magnesium is required in over 11 different steps in the mitochondria in order to convert our food into energy. Many of you are deficient in these nutrients, and there are more than these three. Um, and the reason is your diets are poor or you're not absorbing it. So gut dysfunction can lead to nutritional deficiencies also. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.